Bill Clinton is unleashing some anti-Republican anger, suggesting some of the Republicans are, his words, hypocrites. It involves a Republican reaction to that MoveOn.org ad critical of the top U.S. military commander in Iraq, General David Petraeus. Clinton had this to say to CNN's Anderson Cooper. I think that there was something completely disingenuous about the feigned outrage of the Republicans in the White House and in the Congress about this. This was classic bait and switch. Focus on uh, that as opposed to focusing oh, on yeah, what's really happening. I don't have to deal with Iraq. I don't have to tell anybody what I'm going to do. Everything we do in Iraq is obviously right because they said this about Petraeus, as if it was the only issue in the wide world. Come on, these Republicans that are all upset about Petraeus, this is one newspaper ad. These are the people that ran a television ad in Georgia with Max Cleveland, who lost half his body in Vietnam, in the same ad with Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein. That's what the Republicans did. And the person that rode to the Senate on that ad was there voting to condemn the Democrats over the Petraeus ad. I mean, these are the people that funded the swift boat Veterans for Truth. And the president appointed one of the principal funders of the swift boat ads to be an ambassador. But they're really upset about Petraeus. But it was OK to question John Kerry's patriotism on the on a blatantly dishonest claims by people that didn't know what they were talking about. So it was just bait and switch. It was just, oh, thank goodness, I can take this little word here and ignore what we've done in Iraq and what we're going to do and the outrageous way we gain political power by smearing John Kerry. All right, let's talk a little bit more about uh, what the former president had to say. He's venting his anger, as you could see, uh, at the Republicans over that ad. Joining us is our chief national correspondent, John King. You, you and I covered him when he was president of the United States. We used to see him occasionally uh, venting that kind of anger. It's much uh, less common now. He has a long memory wolf, as you could see him reciting those ads used against Democrats in the past, and he has a very feisty temper. And this goes directly to the big debate in both parties right now. What would it be like if the presumptive frontrunner right now, Hillary Clinton, is the Democratic nominee? Many Republicans say that would be a tough race, but they think it would be their best chance, actually. The Republican Party is so demoralized right now. What better way to unite the Republican Party than to have them running against Hillary and Bill Clinton. He obviously has the best political still skills still in his party. He can't be on the ballot, but to see an outburst like that reminds everybody of what it would be like if she is the Democratic nominee. Many Democrats think that's a good thing, but some do have their doubts. A lot of people say you get two for the price of one. They used to say that back in 92, but in this particular case, you would get Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. You would have a former president of the United States serving in some ways as the attack dog or the rebuttal dog, if you will, to the Republican attacks on the campaign trail. There's no question Bill Clinton has enormous political skills skills. The question many Democrats ask themselves is, would he so incite the Republicans, and she so incite the Republicans, that GOP turnout would be up no matter who the Republican nominee was, and would it then bring into whole play the baggage of Bill Clinton? He has considerable political skills, but he also does bring some personal and character baggage to the table. This is the fascinating debate that is going on right now in both parties as the nomination battle unfolds. John, thanks very much. Uh, John, stick around because you're going to be coming back. Uh, you can watch, by the way, Anderson's entire interview with Bill Clinton later tonight, and I think you're going to want to see it. It airs on AC.